Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Devin with Freckled Mom. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hello. Make sure if you like this video, you give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel so you can see when I upload a new video. Today, I have some projects I worked on for Christmas presents for my family. One trash to treasure and three frame pieces. Let's get started. This is a Lazy Susan that I've had in my house for quite a while and I love the size of it so I wanted to repurpose it for a gift. So this is just some gray spray paint and I'm just trying to give it a more uniform look. It was brown before and the bottom piece was also brown so I just unscrewed everything and gave it one coat over. I didn't go crazy on the paint because it's the bottom anyways. I ended up using my favorite color, Newberry Port Blue. I use this on a lot of my furniture pieces in the house, but I thought this would be a really good complement to the other colors that I chose. This color is just for the bottom in case somebody picks it up and looks at it. It just looks a little bit more finished. up choosing um, a blue, a dark gray, and a light white gray. So I'll put all the colors in the description. If you guys missed it, I did another Lazy Susan in a previous video, and I'll link that in the comments as well, because that one came out so adorable and would match any decor. This Lazy Susan is purely a gift, and you'll see as I go that I definitely personalized it just for my brother. I had made sure that the bottom was really dry with my heat gun before I went and put some tape along the edges. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side and I wanted to make sure that all that paint I just worked on on the bottom was nice and even and looked finished. I put all the hardware back on for the Lazy Susan just because I was all done with the bottom but also for when I was painting it would be easier to spin it around rather than picking it up and making a mess with it so I thought this would probably be the best time to put the bottom back on it and it would help for the next phase of the project. Now I had spray painted in the garage before and I was just smoothing out the edges just to make sure everything was ready for my next coat of paint. So this was a chalk paint. I believe I used Oyster but I'll put that in the comments as well. 
and I wanted to give it just one good coat over first and see how many coats I thought I was going to need. I wasn't sure. I wanted to distress this so I don't want to put too much paint on it, but I also want a good coverage. So this is the first coat. Norman Rockwell pictures in previous projects but this one was a special project for my brother so I had wanted to cut out the police picture of the boy running away from home I thought it was perfect and my brother is a state trooper so I thought he would really enjoy this picture as I told my grandmother I was gonna do this project she actually told me that she had this picture framed for my brother with the actual date from the Norman Rockwell picture so I thought that was kind of funny because we have this little uh, I guess it's an ongoing family joke that for Christmas, me, my mom, and my grandma always give each other the same presents of some sort, like a Yankee Candle or a Coach pocketbook, but always the same brand. And it's just so funny how that works out because we don't tell each other. But So I thought this was perfect, you know, that I was making this Lazy Susan for him and she had already given him a gift with this picture in it. You can never have too, min too much Norman Rockwell in your house for sure. After measuring it like a million times, you know me, I'm always measuring things, I decided to Mod Podge the back of the picture and I'm going to Mod Podge it to the Lazy Susan. You can see that I already distressed some of it with a little bit of blue paint to make it look like it was originally a blue picture Lazy Susan and then painted, repainted white. And after I Mod Podge this on, I just did another layer on top. And then I went around and I just checked to make sure that all the bubbles were out. And then I went, after it dried, I did a little bit more distressing, but you'll see in the picture. I had a little bit of difficulty with this project only for the finishing aspect because I had wanted to make it look distressed. And when I was finishing it up with some polyurethane, it ended up like almost taking away the the finish on it so it wasn't waterproof so it took me a couple times back and forth with you know regular Mod Podge and then spray Mod Podge but I think it came out just perfect it's so cute so now I'm going to add some words to the project and I went to my Cricut and at Cameo sorry guys I do that so often I use my Cameo now instead of the Cricut just because it's a more updated and it's hooked up to my computer in my craft room. So I ended up getting blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. I thought that was just going to be perfect. My brother is religious and he also, I, in my eyes as a police officer, I believe this is a perfect saying for them and I think he's going to love it. I also put his last name on it and I think that's going to be, you know, really special when he opens it because he's buying a new house. It's his first house. And I think having a gift like this, you know, is just going to be really special for him. And with the colors and the picture on it, I think it's just, you know, perfect.
loved how this project came out. It is so cute, and I'm just so happy. And I know he's going to love it. Now this is a quick little project I put together for my best friend. My kids have called her auntie for the past 17 years and so I, I like to try to get cute things for her, things that make her feel special. And all this was was a frame I had laying around. I had painted the frame and then I used a little bit of brown craft paper and I mod podged it to the frame backing. And then I just took a little sandpaper and sanded down the sides just to get it nice and even so it would fit back in the frame. And then I just looked around the edges if I missed any spots and I put a little bit more Mod Podge on it. gone to my cameo and printed out a cute little saying about aunts and how special they are and the font was actually so small that I had used because I like to make my own um, just so you know I don't know it looks different than what you see out in the stores and stuff so I had used a very thin font and it didn't really work that great it um, it was definitely too small and I lost some of the letters so I had to reprint it again um, and check all my settings for you know, the cameo machine and for the cutting. But after it finally came out, it came out adorable. And I'm just so glad. And I'm, I'll put the font in my um, description. I just, I love the font. So I, I said it in one of my other videos, how I do it. Um, it's an app on my phone called Pick Collage. And I type the font that I want or I use pictures that I want. And then I save it to my phone because it's on my phone and then I can just go to my iCloud and download it right to my Cameo. And there's that frame and it was just um, a brown that I had used. It was not a chalk paint, but it had a very matte finish. So I think it came out just super cute. And look how adorable that is. Oh my goodness. So you can see where I'm missing, you know, some letters there and I had to find the little letters and put it back on. Um, but for my second time around, it came out much better than the first time, and I just love the finished project. project came out so cute I'm glad that I did it because it it was just adorable and I know she's gonna love it and this is something that you can whip up at home you know if you have a birthday party or an anniversary or just a special event you want to you know commemorate with someone you love it's just so nice to give handmade gifts so this next one is projects I made for my grandmother and my grandfather and these are just some signs I had laying around and I you know, cleaned them up a little bit. I did some crud cutter on it and sanded off any spots that, you know, might have been dinged throughout the time. And I did paint the back of the frame um, only so it looks like a finished piece, you know. I'm not sure if they were going to hang it on a wall or lean it up against something or put it on a table somewhere. And this is one of my favorite colors. I love this color. It's so cute. I'll put it down in the description after and I just did um, one coat on the back just so you could see the color and it would be uniform throughout. But I did do two coats on the front.
And again, I added that brown craft paper on the backing of this. I really like this paper. It's thick and durable, and you can put letters on it, whether you're painting them and stenciling them or actual vinyl letters on it. And then you can just Mod Podge it right to whatever surface you're trying to cover. And I just think it, it makes it like a really seamless look. And again, I'm just using my sandpaper and sanding down the edges just to get a nice clean finish so that way it fits right back into the frame. This is definitely a unique present. Uh, my grandma actually used to have this uh, magnet on her fridge that said, I don't do rocking chairs, I don't do cookies, and I don't do windows. And she used to always joke about that. So when I actually had my own children and she needed to babysit one time, they were one of them, he was just a little baby, and I was so nervous. And I said, Grandma, are you going to change his diaper? And she was like, uh, yes, I will change his diaper. What do you think? And I was nervous that she didn't know how to change diapers because she had said that motto so many times to me about not baking cookies and not doing rocking chairs and not changing diapers that it just stuck in my head for, I guess, for the rest of my life because I was so afraid for her to babysit my kids. And she did wonderful, don't worry. Uh, the kids are, you know, 17 and 14. They're still alive and their diapers were changed. But it's, you know, a funny saying that we joke about with my grandma. And she is just the light of my life. I love my grandma so much and I appreciate everything she's done. She's just, she's just such a, an amazing person. Like, I think everybody loves their grandma, but I really love my grandma so I really wanted this to be special for her. And um, another thing is right here you can see the words. Um, when I was little, she used to sing to me, you are my sunshine, you know, my only sunshine. And I'm not going to sing that for you guys, please. <laughs> it's too early in the morning for that. But I know that it's something that, you know, is special between me and her. And I love that song. And I just wanted this to be a special gift for her. And so I just put, um, you are my sunshine when skies are gray. And I just loved how this whole piece came out. I love how sentimental it is. And I just love that she can look at it and, you know, think of, think of me or think of, you know, our relationship or, you know, just anything. It's just, you know, something I, I thought she would appreciate. And, and she did, my goodness, when she opened it, she loved it. So I'm so happy I made it, and these are some little things I just did on my Cameo. So I did an empty rocking chair, because she doesn't do rocking chairs, and she loves cats. Um, she's my, you know, the person who got me into rescuing animals, so I definitely had to put some cats on there. And she loves her coffee, and she loves knitting, so I try to incorporate all her favorite things.
This project was another personalized gift. This is for my grandfather. Um, it's a little bit different than what I did for my grandma, but I did have a frame that I already liked the color of, so I didn't do anything to that. But I did um, do the brown paper on the backing again, and I had Mod Podged one of my favorite Norman Rockwell pictures about baseball on the brown paper because he's a big baseball fan and he just loves gifts like this. And so I found um, a quote from Babe Ruth, which of course, if you're a baseball fan, you love Babe Ruth. Plus my grandfather is a big Yankees fan, so I knew he would love this. And I just modge podge that picture on there and then I used my cameo for the letters for the quote. And I just think it is so cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love giving handmade gifts and I loved all of these so much. I have more videos coming up. Make sure you hit that bell and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I hope you're inspired to try some home decor and DIY for your home or gifts for others. I'm on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. Also, you can read my blog about motherhood, sobriety, fun projects, and delicious recipes at freckledmom.com. See you soon.